Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is my review of Hawkeye Freefall number one of let's just guess nine. <laughs> I'm still uh, still dealing with the case of the suds, uh, but I am feeling well. I'm feeling solidly better. Yesterday I was like, I'm feeling better, and then like pfft, I freaking uh, jinxed myself, saying all the symptoms I didn't have, and then I'll have half of them within like an hour. Uh, so anyway, before we get started, if I did not screw this up. Okay, so people are getting Jawbreaker's God King. It's getting good reviews. It's getting really good reviews. People find it to be much improved uh, writing over uh, Jawbreaker's Lost Soul. So here's uh, people sending me this. I thought it was a floor, but it looks like it's a bed. Very, very thick um, outer cover with a duvet. So here's the deal. As someone who's made you know portion of their living for the last two years reviewing comics and cars and often on beds. I got I got some if you're, if you're taking the bed cover, first of all, you smooth out you smooth out the sheet. Then you got to make sure usually when I do the bed ones, they're during the day so you can get the soft light coming through the blinds. If you get the 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 light from the light bulb, you're going to get these shadows. It's really hard and then you're also getting the glare. So, it's a good first try, but I mean you're talking to an expert here, so just give my professional opinion. Um, <coughs> anytime my book is on the floor, I always freak out. Um, and uh, then this one's near his, uh, I don't know, work clothes, I'm going to guess. Uh, so thanks for sending those in. Um, and now, unfortunately, i got to read this stuff. Um, so this is Hawkeye. Uh, he's being rebooted for the time because I don't know what no, I, It still blows my mind to this day how little not just Marvel cares for the industry in itself But how individual creators how little they care for their own career uh, Matthew Rosenberg writes like he's 35 years into an incredible career and has tons of money saved up in the bank um, This is lazy uh, not funny while also making the uh, main character effectively uh, a comic relief in his own book. Now, if all you know, all of your interaction with this character was the <coughs> the, hip, the hipster version from like uh, five six years ago when he was like, uh, oh my gosh, like pizza dog. That's like funny, um, and he was just basically being like a goofball camp counselor for the real Hawkeye. Uh, which is the the female version? By the way, I gotta say, this is just one of those basic, basic things that SJWs do not understand about humans. They had the dead rabbits. Uh, 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 Gary, Jerry Dugan, and John McRae. They had a book called Dead Rabbits, and then a bar, just a bar, a bar, not another comic, a bar. And I think Boston, they also had that name, so they sued him. Just a bar and a comic. The whole thing about having like uh, uh, copyrights is, you're, you know, so you're not confused. You're like, oh, we're going to Dead Rabbits. Oh, you're going to a comic book? No, we're going to the bar, dumbass. Like, th it's very easy just from context to tell them apart. And yet in the superhero world, you've got any legacy characters, which is, you know, code for straight white male. They're always just totally fine with people just taking their name, copying their name. And they're like, um, like, we're both Hawkeye and like... That's cool, but she's, she's like super duper better than me. Like, why? <laughs> I mean, even if you're like, you know, you take her under your wing, she's like, I'm Hawkeye too. You're like, no, I'm Hawkeye. Um, it's going to be a problem if you go around calling yourself Hawkeye. Um, okay, so I'm like later, Lady Hawkeye. Okay, so that makes you like my wife. I'm Girl Hawkeye. Okay, so you're my sidekick. Maybe you should form your own identity because I did. Um, but yeah, so if you um, read... That version, the hipster version from six years ago, it's like ineffectual hipster doofus who trains a kid. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it's 2020 and we're still doing cutesy pie Scott Pilgrim scene introductions. One of New York's many sketchy warehouses. He's here. Everyone shut the hell up and line the hell up. There are a lot of reasons people do stupid things. Some people get caught up with a bad crowd. Some get desperate. Some people just love the thrill of it. Some people don't know what to, else to do. Oh, hey, it's me. Again, and for people who are driving or folding laundry or playing video games, I just read the exact dialogue. And then we cut to 
This is the lead character. Tell me that isn't most punchable face of 2020. Oh my gosh, he's simply a delight. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Uh, so then uh, we get an entire page of cutesy pie dialogue by Hawkeye, a former criminal, I'd say top 10 hand-to-hand -hand combatants in the... Just an old school tough guy. Now, you, yeah, you want to make him kind of like a goof. He used to be a goof because he was too angry and people didn't respect that. He was always trying to fight the other Avengers over stupid stuff. And they're like, hey, you're a good Avenger, but you're, you're kind of immature. You're always trying to fight people over stupid stuff. Um, so now he's meeting the hood. Um, he says, uh, this guy is why I'm here. His name is Parker Robbins. Goes by the hood. Oh, Robbins, the hood, Robin Hood. <coughs> I just got it. That sucks. I'll give it to him, though. Guy knows how to make a hell of an impression. If you're into bad guys, he's pretty cool. So, I'm frustrated. <laughs> I'm very, very frustrated. And then he says, lo main me. Ha ha ha, we got some foodsy humor. He's talking to his men and he's got food. He's eating, cause, and then he's drinking a thing. And then he got his, uh, eating the thing. That's it. This is the scene. Then he punches him. He just punches him. That's it. This is, this is the writing. This is the scene. This is the character. Mind you, this guy was like undercover. He goes, uh, hey, I know you. Yeah. And then he punches him and then he goes, it's Hawkeye. Wait, you didn't recognize Hawkeye when he was standing there? Like smirking. He doesn't match anyone else. You didn't recognize that he kind of stuck out right here? You got all these dock workers and then some hipster doofus is smirking. You don't go, hmm, something's up with this guy. Oh my gosh, low main me? Oh my gosh, low main me. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, so it uh, goes on like this kind of forever. Um, now i got to edit this damn thing. Okay, so I'll go back to the one page. Later, the most boring place in New York City? <sighs> really? This is how we're rolling into 2020. This is how we're just rolling right in there. Roll, this is how, um, like, it's like super duper boring. -y. This is embarrassing. Okay, so in this scene, uh, hipster, hipster idiot, um, Hawkeye goes home and he's dating Night Nurse now, and things are about to get hot and heavy. And then we get this smooch, 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 smooch. Ha 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 ha. This is sub Archie level humor. <laughs> like, what is this? Of course, the uh, the guy is getting disrespected for being an idiot in his own comic. Why not? Why not? It's moving on. Next night, the creepiest stretch of the West Side Highway. Oh my gosh, it's super duper creepy. So stupid. So then we end on what should have been the cliffhanger. And then we get like 10 more pages. Do you want to hear the humor? Uh, Hawkeye is um, eating at a cafe. The next morning, a staggeringly overpriced cafe. <laughs> oh my gosh, like things. Am I right? And then a bird poops on him. That's the joke. And then uh, the uh, it, he got he's in a hipster place and the, it's um, expensive. That's the other joke. It's expensive. Do you do you see this? It's just, they're like, we think you might be Rowan. He's like, I'm not. They're like, we think you are. Here's two trash jokes. Yeah, I'm not. Here's a couple more trash jokes. Oh, yeah, um, I'm still not the Ronin. Okay, let's go see it. So then, uh, this is it. Uh, this is this is my thesis. This is the first issue of a new series. Let's pretend this is a series, <laughs> not the mini series it is. And this is the lead character. Ineffectual, hipster, doofus. Fetching coffee. Oh my gosh, coffee is yumsy numsies. Oh my gosh, I drink coffee. This is very relatable. Uh, fetching coffee for two people who just keep saying, we think you're Ronan, I'm not. We think you're Ronan, I'm not. Guess what? He's not Ronan. Yeah. Night. Some random roof across from some random garage. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it ends with establishing that whoever is in the Ronan costume, who has been Echo before, who's been Hawkeye before, is pretty tough. 
The problem is we've already also established that the lead character is pretty weak, so it's not anything impressive to beat him up, make him look like an idiot because he does that to uh, himself. So anyway, that's uh, that's us rolling into 2020 with Marvel. Um, uh, there are some, uh, oh jeez, I had to go into Comixology, so hey, uh, I've got good news for you. If you really wanted um, uh, issues of the British comic anthology Commando, specifically issues uh, 1514 to 1541, congratulations, they're clogging up the feet of the new comics on uh, Comixology. But it looks like there's a couple of good ones since <laughs> the last of the week. I mean, the old days of me being able to review two new comics a day, those are, those are gone. They're just absolutely gone. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. You're finding original content and an original uh, lawsuit. And I'll have another comic, up, uh, comic video up later today. Thanks. Bye.